Hi, in this tutorial, I will introduce BitAssist. BitAssist is a WordPress plugin. Connect all your support assistants with a single button. Communicate or connect with your customers or visitors using different messaging apps Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, Skype, SMS, TalkTo, Telegram, Viber, Slack, etc. Also, some of the notable features are available, like knowledge base, FAQ, custom contact form, etc. I have already installed BitAssist free and pro plugin on my WordPress. Open the BitAssist dashboard. You can now create and edit your widget. First, add your channels. In the free version, you can choose up to two channels from 20 plus of our customers' favorite messaging applications, such as Facebook Messenger, YouTube, Knowledge Base, FAQ, Custom Contact Form. You can connect with the visitors who visit your site with Facebook Messenger. In addition, you can connect with your personal Facebook account or business page. Here you can set the channel name. Here you have to provide the Facebook user name or business page. When you click on the channel, it will redirect to the new window, or you can choose any from the drop-down option. Finally, by allowing the hide to after office hours option, the channel will not be showing after office time that you have configured from the setting. You can hide and show the channel on mobile and desktop view. You can redirect the visitor to your business YouTube channel with a single click by Setup YouTube. Here you have to set the channel URL after YouTube.com. FAQs are used to answer common questions people have about a product or service. You can easily do that with BitAssist. Here you can set the FAQ title. And here you have to set the description. With this text editor, you can make text bold and italic and include links in the text. You can use the knowledge base to answer most questions about your product or service to the visitors. Here you can set the title. And here you have to set the description. With this text editor, you can make text bold and italic, include links in the text, insert images, etc. BitAssist allows you to create custom forms. Here, you can set the form name. Here you can change the submit button name. Here you can set the success message. By enabling the store responses option, the form submitted data will store in BitAssist. Here you can place an email to send the autoresponder. 
Here you can set the third-party webhook URL and send the submitted data to our application slash platform that supports webhook. You can show the form entries in the response option. Widget color. You can change the chat widget color of your preference with this option. Widget icon. You can change the chat widget icon of your preference with this option. Widget position can be changed the widget position. There are four types of positions available in this option. Top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Widget size. You can change the widget size with this option. The widget size will not support more than 200 pixels. Widget shape. You can choose any of your favorite widgets that are available. Custom CSS. You can change color, height, width, position, etc. Business hours. You can organize it with your office time by enabling this option. Page filters. You can show and hide the chat widget on a few specific pages of your site with this option. Trigger widget. Decide when the widget will appear for the first time. You can show it after a few seconds or on page scroll. Call to action. The message displayed above the chat widget is the perfect way to grab the visitor's attention. And also you add delayed time for this. Widget behavior. You can show configured channels to visitors when they visit the site, or visitors can click the chat widget to open it. External publish. You can configure the BitAssist widget on multiple websites with a BitAssist dashboard or WordPress. For example, you can use the BitAssist widget on another domain or subdomain. In addition, you can use BitAssist widget on other sites. Also, you can use the BitAssist widget outside of WordPress, like Drupal, Joomla, Wix, Shopify, Squarespace, Weebly, and others. Now we are going to configure it with Squarespace. First, create a widget or select any that you have made. In the row of your created widget, you will see the Use Widget in option. Select the external site from here. Now edit the widget. And navigate to the External Publish tab. Here you have to add the domain. Now copy the script and paste it into the Squarespace header or footer code and save the code. Thanks for watching.